I am Suman Das here from IV Professional School. As a part of my data visualization course, I am going to demonstrate my recent project work related to manufacturing line productivity using Power BI tool. It is one of the finest data visualization tool which helps to address business problem by uncovering insights through charts and diagrams. Here are few objectives I have taken. Analyze operational inefficiency, identify low-performed operators, address downtime factors. Before proceed further, I would like to show the dataset I have used. It includes four tables, downtime factors, line downtime, line productivity, and products table. In downtime factors table, th this is the description of factors, and this operator error is due to operator or not. In line downtime table, this is the batch ID, this is the factor ID for each batch, and this downtime is the downtime minutes for each batch. Line productivity. This is the date when batch was produced. Next is product ID. It is the batch ID. And this operator is in charge of this batch, the start, start time and end time of a batch production. And the final table is product table. This is the name of the product and its flavor and their size. And minimum batch time is minimum time required to produce each batch. Now, first I load my CSV table into the Power Query. It is a MS tool, helps to extract, transform and load the data. Now, I check the data type, whether they are correct or not for each column. Here, I change text data type for all ID column, uh, like here batch ID, here product ID. And in these tables, there is no missing value or error value otherwise i need to treat them in line downtime table i do unpivoting uh, before the data manipulation part the raw data looks like this it's the raw data and i change it to this data this is called unpivoting uh, unpivoting is a way to club the same category items into a single column for easy analysis now next part is data modeling. Here, um, and it's the relationship between two tables like product table, line productivity table, or line downtime table, line productivity, and so on. Um, it, it is a because of a relationship one can access information from one table to another table. Like if between products and line downtime table, it's a one to many relationship uh, based on the product ID and same line productivity and line downtime table this is also one to many relationship um, related to batch here batch is a common column and same downtime factor and line downtime between the these two table factor is the common column now move to the data visualization part here I use some DAX function and with the help of this DAX function I built this dashboard report. Now I have given an overview of this dashboard. There are total 4 operators, 6 products, 38 batches out of which 66% inefficient batch, total 12 downtime factors and 36% downtime, total 36% downtime. This downtime is nothing but out of total production time, what is the total downtime? And the major downtime factor is a machine adjustment and most inefficient operator is MAC. Here inefficiency is calculated uh, through out of total batches, total inefficient batch, this operator assigned. Now it is a top 5 batch for the most of the downtime. And uh, this is the operator wise inefficiency now one thing here is it is a charlie most inefficient batch than mac but mac inefficiency is highest than charlie and it is found that a 4 double to triple one is the most problematic batch 
so here it is a reflected 4 double two tp loan is the most problematic batch and uh, here 56 percent is the total downtime for this batch over 600 is the most problematic product out of this all the products in under this batch and mac is the most inefficient factor sorry most inefficient operator and these are over 600 products here total production time minimum production time is 60 but require 135 minutes so more than twice production time it takes now this is the batch wise production time in decreasing order and uh, this is the this scatter plot reflects the as downtime factor increases production time increases but uh, batch number 422147 4 double to 146, 4 double to 144 has some exception, which indicates some problem in this batch. And here, machine adjustment is the major downtime factor, along with machine failure and inventory shortage. And final visual is is the list of products and their extra production time in percentage. Uh, now, here I add two beautiful AI features. One is decomposition tree and another is QA. In decomposition tree, it shows automatically which is the inefficient operator, most problematic factors, most problematic batches. And in QA, if I put my question without creating any visuals, it automatically shows the KPI and diagram related to this. So let's try some. Uh, first is total batch. Suppose I need to find the total number of batches. So total number of batch is yeah, 38. So it's okay. And next is the total downtime. So total downtime 1.39k total downtime, which is nothing but 1c double eight. So it's match. And then let's try the final one. Uh, total inefficiency. Inefficiency. Um, by operator so here is the mac is the uh, highest inefficient operator followed by charlie and then the other two d and dennis so that's why q a works now move to the data driven insights based on my objective I have found these insights. Over 66% batches inefficient. Uh, batch number 4 double to triple 1, 4 double to 1, 2, 3, 4 double to 1, 4, 7. These are insignificant batches. Product over 600 is the most insignificant product. Mac and Charlie inefficient operator. Machine adjustment is the most common factors out of all. And finally, my recommendation are proper training of operators, rechecking problematic products and batches, addressing issue of serious downtime factors may increase the manufacturing productivity. So that's it. Thank you all for watching my presentation. Hope you enjoy well.